All right, guys, today what we're going to be looking at is the rational number system. So essentially what we're going to be doing is turning uh, repeating decimals into fra uh, fractions. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at the first one of these. First one's pretty basic. It's just saying if I have this fraction 2 over 9, I want you to turn this into a decimal. And in order to do that, what this is saying is I have 2 and it's dividing by 9. So it's basically saying how many times is 9 going to 2? So if we were to look at that, if I have 9 and I want to see how many times that goes into 2, well, it doesn't go in it any times at first, so I'm going to put 0 which means then I'm going to add a 0, 9 goes into 20, 2 times, 2 times 9, that is 18. We're going to subtract again and get a 2. I'm now going to bring down another 0, and as you can see, a pattern starts to happen. 9 goes into 20 2 times, 2 times 9 is 18. We're going to subtract those to get a 2, bring down another 0, so on and so forth. So 2 over 9 is... To repeating. Well, that's great, but what happens now if I'm given the other way around? Let's say I have 0.45 hundredths and it is repeating over and over and over. Now, first thing I want you to notice, I'm going to show you the shortcut. Whenever you guys have a decimal and then right after the decimal, it's the number that's repeating. So we have 45. You just match the number, uh, the numbers that are repeating and put 9 under it that amount of 9 under it. So what do I mean by that? Uh, 45, it's going to be 0.454545. So the 4, 5 are the two numbers repeating. Therefore, it's two numbers, so I put two 9s under it. Okay? And then you're done. You don't have to do anything there. So just to clarify what I meant, let's say I had 0.5 with just the 0.5 repeating. We can easily do that. That is just one number that repeats. It would be 5 over 1, 9. Or if we had something like uh, 0.124 repeating over and over and over, that is three numbers that repeat. So that would just be 1, 2, 4 over 9, 9, 9. There's three numbers that repeat over and over, so I put three nines under it. Um, you can only use this shortcut when it is decimal followed by the number that repeats. Decimal followed by the number repeats. Decimal followed by the number that repeats. Okay. So for instance, I want you to see the more challenging one. On this example, it is decimal, a 0, and an 8, and then the number that repeats. In order to solve this, we're going to have to create an equation, uh, two equations and solve. So your first step is whatever the number that's given to us, which is 0 0.083 with the 3 repeating, that is going to equal x. Okay. Your first equation, you're going to want to move this decimal right past the number that repeats. So in order to do that, I would have to multiply this by uh, 1, 2, 3, by 10, 100, by 1,000. So the main goal is I want the number that repeats, which is the 3, to come right before the decimal. In order to do that, I had to multiply both sides by 1,000. The second step is I want this decimal to come right before the number that repeats. So it looked like 8.3 repeating. Okay. In order to do that, I multiply it by 10, 100. Okay. And as you guys can see, I already make a mistake in purple. This should be a thousand X. Once you have your two equations, so let me repeat what I did. I moved the decimal. So it's the number that repeats, then the decimal. And then I made a second equation where I multiplied the original equation by a uh, hundred, so the decimal comes right in front of the number that repeats. Once this happens, we are going to subtract the two numbers. So if I do 83.3 minus 8.3, that is going to give me, uh, sorry, let me go and fix that really quickly, 75 equals 900x. And then all I'm going to do is divide both sides by 900 to get x all by itself. So I'm going to have x is equal to 75 over 900. Then what I'm going to do is divide these both by 5. So if I did 75 divided by 5, this would be 15. And then if I did 900 divided by 5, that would give me 180. 
Now these are both still divisible by 5. So 15 divided by 5 is 3, and 180 divided by 5 is 36. And one more time, uh, I can divide these both by 3 now. So 3 divided by 3 is 1, and 36 divided by 3 is 12. And if you have a calculator and you do 1 divided by 12, that'll give you 0 0.083 repeating. Okay. So these ones are um, a little tricky when it has the repeating decimal, so we're going to go ahead and do a few of these um, on our own as well. So um, what I want you guys to realize is this is 0.2222 repeating, so on and so forth. And this is just point 0.2. Now this one's not too bad because it's just the decimal and then the number that repeats. So in this instance, we can actually use the shortcut. So this would be 2 over 9. This one, it's 2 tenths, so it's just 2 tenths. So to add these up, I need a common denominator. The common denominator is going to be 90, which means I'm going to multiply the numerator and the denominator by 9 here. This is going to give me 18 over 90. Uh, on this one, I'm going to multiply the numerator and the denominator by 10, so this will be 20 over 90. So when I add these up, I'm going to get 38 over 90, and then all I'm going to do is divide the numerator and the denominator by 2 to get 19 over 45. Okay, So this would be my final answer. Um, I saw other students do this a different way too, just in case you're wondering. You can add these up, so it would be 0.4 with the two repeating. Uh, once it's like this though, you have to do the method that I showed you on the previous example, okay? So let's go ahead now and look at this one. This one's a tad different uh, because I have 0.26 with just the six repeating plus three over 10. Now there's two things you can do here. You can turn this into a fraction and then add them, or you can turn this into a decimal and then add them. Um, so on this example, I'm going to do uh, the second one, which is turn this into a decimal, which is 0 0.3 plus 0 0.26 repeating. So I'm going to add up the tenths value to get uh, 0.56 with the 6 repeating, and that's going to equal my decimal that I need to turn into a fraction. So the first thing that I want to do is, like I said, I want this decimal to come after the number that repeats. In order to do that, I have to move it over two spots, which means I multiplied both sides by 100. The second equation is I want this decimal to be right in front of the number that repeats. That would be 5.6 repeating equals 10x. It's 10x because I had to multiply both sides by 10 to get that. Now when I do this, I will ha uh, subtract these two equations. I will have 51 is equal to 90, 90x. So then I'm just going to divide both sides by 90 to get x is equal to 51 over 90. Okay. All right, guys, I hope this helped a little bit for your uh, homework. If you have any questions, please feel free to email me or your teacher.